Mr. Zane, you scheduled this hearing. We've been waiting 10 minutes. I'm not waiting any longer. Well, uh, you don't have to, Your Honor. My motion is here. You better get up here fast. What the hell were you? I'm standing up here with my dick in my hand and you're out having a soda. I had something to do. Whatever it was, I hope it's worth almost losing this case over. Motion to expedite trial. I thought this was a hearing on their motion to dismiss. Well, if you expedite our trial, that takes care of their motion to dismiss. Your Honor, they just got this case two days ago. They're using the timing of our client's contract expiration to try to shake us down. I have to say, Mr. Zane, I find it hard to believe that in two days you found out enough to know you need an expedited trial, let alone care about these people at all. Your Honor, four years ago, a mail carrier named Stanley Powell felt tightness in his chest. He, uh, he thought it was nothing, but his wife insisted he go to the hospital. When he got there, doctors couldn't find anything wrong, but they wanted to keep him for one extra day. Now, unfortunately, Kelton Insurance refused to pay. So Mr. Powell went home, crawled into bed, and one day later he was dead. Now, in front of you, you have a complaint that's over 5,000 pages long, which tells the stories of another 189 victims. Pick a page at random, tell me the number, and I will tell you exactly what their client did to them. Your Honor, are you actually buying that? Page 627, Mr. Lawrence Green, 63-year-old grandfather, admitted to St. Vincent with complaints of lower back pain and excessive weight loss. He thought it was stress. Turns out it was lymphoma. Only they didn't find out until it was too late because their client refused to pay for the MRI. So please, rule against us if you have to, but don't tell me we don't care. Motion for expedited trial granted. Jury selection starts Monday.